Wonderful. Uh, American-born singer um, uh, Lena Lovitch uh, has been described as uh, the Matahari of rock, uh, the Garbo of rock. Uh, she emerged on the music scene in October of 1978. Uh, by the end of 1979, she had three top hits and recognition as a top female singles artist for 1979. It is now four albums later. Uh, Lena Lovitch and her band are in Australia, and they're on the eve of their first tour of Australia. Now, let me tell you where you can uh, see them here. In Melbourne on Saturday night, they'll be at the Astor Theatre, Canberra at the ANU on Sunday, and Monday in Sydney at the Capitol Theatre. This that I hold in my hand is her current album, No Man's Land. Anyway, tonight, she's going to present us with one of her big hits. It's called Lucky Numbers. Uh, this is really a strange lady, but boy, I tell you, she's some performer. Lena Lovitch here. Come on out. You certainly, you certainly have a lot of fans here tonight. They're all cheering at something when I mentioned your name earlier in the face. Hello. <laughs> really nice to see you. Um, is there any special name for this outfit, or do you just sort of wear it? Um, uh, this is my party dress. Your party dress? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's not, definitely not anything you wear around the house or anything, it's not? Yeah, sometimes. Yes? <laughs> I when I feel in a party mood, yeah. Yeah? It looks like a lion's mane or a headdress or something like that. Um, Yes, you could say that. What? Yes, I like. I always like wearing things on my head. You, uh, 
I'm sorry, Lena, but what do you use as an influence for the clothes that you wear? I mean, do you make this up yourself, or do you use something else, uh, or do you get ideas from outside influences? Uh? Oh, it's um, an improvisation, really, on how I feel that day. Yeah? Yeah. You mean you could wear something different tomorrow and do the same song? Um, yes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. One of the things that, uh, that really made you famous, uh, mostly here in Australia, were the, the wild and weird and wonderful film clips that you did for all the songs that you released. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm very interested in films, and um, I think it's it's very, very difficult to... Uh, I'm holding your hand pretty much. <laughs> it's very, very difficult to tell a whole story about what the song is really about. Mm. So sometimes I don't try. I try to make some other kind of visual stimulation. Mm. I was interested to find out, too, that you don't really spend a lot of time with these video uh, clips. So. Uh, no, we have an, one initial idea that we try out, and uh, we have lots of different alternatives that we try out. But we don't do a lot of pre-production work, and it's usually all shot in one day. Mm. And what can we come to expect from the concerts that we're going to see with you? All your hits? Yeah, we are going to try and do things from the past. Uh -huh. and from the present. Okay, well, that I can get a good rounded idea. Let me talk to you about personally about Lena Lovitch. Uh, a lot of people here pronounce it Lena, by the way, but Lena is the proper pronunciation. Eh? Yes, I've heard lots of different variations. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, but, it, you know, it's even spelled like Lena, but yet pronounced Lena. Well, it's a foreign name, you see. Uh, the first part of my name is German, and it's pronounced Lena. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the second part is Yugoslav. Yeah. Lovitch. Yeah. It's strange. Years ago, you wouldn't have heard of anybody keeping a name like Lovitch. You know, they would have changed it to something. You but would have it been was a lot Lena longer. Love or something. I, I, it was a lot longer, and I already shortened it. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> what about the publicity about you? There's all sorts of things that they write. I understand in an article I read the other day that it was not really true. They said you were a woman without a country for a long time. No passport, no anything. I think there's an element of truth in, in everything people say about me. But these things do tend to get elaborated. What about the no passport business then? Um, well, my mother ran away from my father when I was quite young. So although I was born in America, I found myself growing up in England. And uh, I had no real nationality at that time. I had to make some kind of decision. So uh, when I was with my record company, I hadn't made that decision. Mm. And all this talk about psychic powers. You have psychic powers? Well, out of the ordinary things have happened to me. Okay. And uh, I'm not really... Um, interested in, in bizarre things um, for the sake of it. You know, I'm not obsessed. Mm. Well, it's nice to see you. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> I ain't hanging around anymore. It's nice to see you, and it's nice to have you here. Okay. And I hope you have a lovely stay in Australia, and good luck with the concert. Thank you. Lena Lovitz, everybody. Say thank you. Bert will be furious at her wearing those clothes. <laughs>